new to house call pro today i'm going to show you how to set up your company on there how to change the default settings to your liking and show you some additional features that will help you be more efficient and get the most out of this powerful software hey this is matt with the handy menu welcome back to the channel house call pro has been my go-to scheduling invoicing estimating and crm software over the last year it has a lot of functionality that i believe sets it apart from its competitors so without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so we're gonna log into our account here and I'm gonna walk you through the basic setup to get your company in the system and all the information that you need to get going. So we're gonna head over to this little settings icon here. We're first gonna go to company profile. All right, so here you wanna set up your logo. So that way your logo will show up on estimates and invoices. You might wanna add a little you know, one to two paragraph description of your business. This will be used for your, your pro account. House Call Pro has a pro network where you can see other people in your area and you can refer clients to them and they can refer clients to you. So having a picture of yourself, a logo, and the description of your business will help uh, kind of validate your business and show to others that you're a professional and, and you might get some referrals. So also on this screen, you can toggle a few additional settings here. I'll just move my my head out of the way here. You can update this messaging on your invoices, receipts, and estimates. And then if you ever need to, uh, you can upload some terms and conditions that you can attach with your estimates as well. We'll get into tax rates in a minute. All right, so once that's set up, we'll then go to employees. And if it's just yourself, you put yourself in here. You have your password, your number, your email address, this is all your contact information. You can kind of customize the color that you'd like to set for yourself. And you want to select an image. So we'll do that now. All right, so we got our image here. We're going to go down to permissions. Obviously, if you own and operate your business, this will be toggled on. And you can assign all these different permissions if you have other employees. And if, if you are the owner operator, you will be the point of contact. So you just wanna toggle that on. And this means customers will be able to book with you online. You can display your business profile, including your picture and your business description on the pro network. And this allows you to share jobs. And then you wanna you want also toggle this on to be able to communicate with customers in the app. This pay tab, you don't really need to worry about unless you have employees. So let's go back to the settings and we'll set up our business hours. Okay, so we'll just set this from 9 a.m. to five, Monday through Friday. And then this is your online booking windows. So you can set up your time slots for each week and then when you set up your booking button on your website, customers can see this real-time availability and then they can book with you directly. So I'll show you how to set that up in a minute. All right, next we'll set up our service area. Go back to settings. So just enter the, the town that you serve and then you can adjust your radius 5, 10, 15 miles, however far out you travel. So next we wanna import our client information as well as our price book if you have one. So let's head over to customers. And we'll go to Actions, Import. Now, Housecall Pro is going to walk you through some steps, ask you a few questions, and then we'll begin the importing process. So I'm going to say no to QuickBooks. No. So you can either upload your own spreadsheet or you can pull from Google to Contacts. So once you do that, we'll head over to the price book section and we'll do the same thing for our services and materials. Now they provide you with a template. Just match your spreadsheet to their template and then upload it and you'll be all set. And do the same thing with your materials. And then here you can add tax rates. All right, now with that basic information set up, I just wanna give you a quick tour of where everything is. So this is your central dashboard. So this is where you'll be able to access all your reports and you can add custom reports as well. This will be your inbox. This is where you can text with clients from the work number that House Call Pro gives you. You can also access your job inbox. This is your schedule and you can toggle to a bunch of different views. Even just Monday through Friday, which is nice. 
and you can toggle on all these different pieces of information to see. Then we have your customers. And in this sidebar, you can access all your live jobs, active jobs, and your active estimates as well. All right, so this is a customer profile and you can kind of do all of the basic information, name, phone number, email address, and address. And then you can also uh, label them as either a homeowner or business company, job title, a lot of functionality here. You can toggle on or off notifications. Um, you can save a payment method. So if they pay online through an invoice, um, they can easily save a payment method for, for easy access next time. And then you can add customer tags, which is nice. Any customer notes, you can attach any files, and then you can label where they came from. If you, you primarily do a lot of marketing on Google or on Facebook, you can assign a lead source and they have a bunch of populated areas already that you can just choose. And you can send auto invoices for quick follow up if they haven't paid you yet. And then of course you can easily start a job, an estimate, or create a service plan. Service plan is a, a premium feature. And what's also nice is in the app, it will show you a Google Street View of the customer's home. So if you've never been there before, you can kind of take a mental picture so that as you're rolling up, you're not kind of looking between different houses to see which one is theirs. All right, moving on, let's go to the My Money tab. So we'll set this up in a minute. This is where you can set up your bank account to link with HouseCall Pro. So anytime you get paid via invoice, uh, your money will get sent there. We'll also set up Instapay, which is when a customer pays you by a credit card. The funds can be in your account in 30 minutes or less. And this is the reporting tab. And here you can create a bunch of custom reports and kind of get an overview of all the information that you need for your business. And you have these different dashboards for different areas of your business. And then you can create your own custom reports. And then the price book we just looked at, you can add line items to your estimates really easily. And then year over year, if you want to adjust your rates, you just go down to the service price adjuster and you can increase or decrease your rates by a percentage. And you can also round to the nearest dollar and you can apply it to specific services or all of your services. So that's a really nice feature to have. It just saves time uh, versus you having to do that externally in your spreadsheet and then to re-upload your spreadsheet. All right, so with all those basics out of the way, I now wanna show you how to customize some specific details uh, when you start using this software. So we'll head over to settings and let's go down to invoices. All right, so here you can customize how the invoices are presented to the customer and you can toggle on or off all of these different pieces of information, invoice date, service date, uh, business and customer, and then your services. So if we toggle some of these off, you know, you can see how that is. And then you can do the same thing for materials as well. And then in terms of client notifications, uh, this template here, you can customize, show the invoice number, um, the company name and the invoice total. And then you can customize the body of the message too, to your own wording. Uh, and you can actually do the same thing with texting as well. Go down to payment options. And again, we'll do this in a second. We'll, we'll connect our bank. So that way, anytime a customer pays with a credit card, you'll get that payment sent to you. And then you can have these automatic follow-up reminders. So the default here is every seven days until the invoice gets paid. Uh, and then a maximum of five reminders all the way up to 10. So. Hopefully you get paid before then. Going back to settings, let's do the same thing for our estimates. So this is the default customer view for our estimates. Um, again, you can toggle on or off all these different details based upon what you want the customer to see. I typically toggle off the quantity and the unit price and just show the amount as well as the services amount. And then for the materials, typically toggle off quantity unit price line items I actually toggle off all the line items that I just have the material subtotal down here and then the email 
and SMS. Again, you can customize the email and text language here to your liking. And then also what you want to do on the House Call Pro mobile app is you want to go down to More and click Preferences and then choose your default navigation app. So that way, whenever you're about ready to head out to a job, you click on the little Maps icon in the app and that'll open up to your default navigation app and then you can start heading over there. All right, so the last thing I want to show you to customize the default settings is the text messages that your clients receive automatically when you say you're on your way and when you finish a job. Whenever you schedule a job, a client will get a notification and you can update this any which way you want. You can, you can also toggle it on, toggle it off. Uh, you're on your way text and then the text when the job is finished. All right, so with those settings customized, I now wanna take you to the App Store where you can add on some additional apps that make the software more powerful. So we'll go over to this grid and we'll go to the App Store. Now I'm just gonna show you the apps that are available on the basic plan and that I think are worth mentioning here. So first off, you can sync your Google Calendar and I highly recommend doing that, especially if you if you use Google Calendar a lot, you can sync it up and then you can overlay your House Call Pro schedule. All right, next up is to add online booking to your website. So all you have to do is copy this code here and add it to your website, and then that way your customers will be able to book with you directly on your website. All right, now let's go to the job inbox. And what's nice here is this is just another way to get potential leads to your business. And this shows up in the chat window um, that we looked at. And over here on the right, these are the partners that House Call Pro works with. HomeServe, Latchel, Thumbtack, Lua, and Google Local Services. So if you toggle all of these on, you can get potential leads to that job inbox. And if you respond within 20 minutes, you can secure that job and add it to your schedule. So this is a nice feature to gain more exposure and get more potential leads. All right, so moving on, I'll show you the reviews feature. So every time you click finish after you complete a job, the customer will automatically be sent a review link and then their review um, gets sent to either Google, Facebook, or your website. And we're on the premium plan here on the free trial. And what that means is that you can allocate different percentages between Facebook, Google, and your website to favor one or the other. But on the basic plan, you won't be able to do that. But in either case, it's nice that reviews are sent automatically so that for every job that you do, you have the potential to get a good review and build that social proof online, which will help grow your business. So the last thing we're gonna do for our apps is to toggle on our credit cards in this instant pay feature. So all you have to do is just click get started and House Call Pro will walk you through connecting your bank. Um, if you want, you can buy a card reader to take payment in the field. You don't need to buy this. You can just enter in manually the customer's uh, credit card information in the field. But if you wanna order that, that's an option. So connect your bank and once you do that, you'll be eligible for Instapay payouts, which again is if, you're, if a client pays with a credit card, the money will be transferred into your account in 30 minutes or less. I just wanna show you the processing fee schedule. And if you choose to turn on Instapay, it'll add 1% to all these processing fees. What makes the software even more powerful is continuing to learn it and to utilize all of its features. They offer users a product roadmap to showcase features that they're working on. I recommend periodically reviewing that roadmap to see what features are slated to be released soon and to mull over how you can integrate those features into your business so that you can be more efficient and save time. If you're still unsure whether House Call Pro is right for you, be sure to check out my other video where I did an in-depth comparison of the top four field service apps. Until next time, take care and be well.